Um, firstly, I'd just like to uh, welcome you all here tonight. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more people that haven't parked the header up yet, so they're on their way. But thank you very much for uh, supporting this event. I think it's a, a very worthwhile cause um, when we're talking about men's health, whether it be mental, physical, or whatever. But thank you very much for coming. I'd just like to call on Gordon Davidson, the Shire President of WL, just to say a few words before we get underway. Thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Cookbrook. Uh, many of you aren't uh, from the Shire of Dunya, so I make a special welcome to you. And for the spirit of Carlton, uh, what a magnificent effort for those boys to come over here to help us uh, try and keep everybody on track. Um, the, the council made a sort of conscious decision when we realised that the, the proverbial hit the fan, and I'm going to be careful with my language because of the ladies, but uh, uh, we thought we'd try and get on the front foot and we've tried to uh, make sure that we treated this. And I've, I'm lucky to have uh, a group of councillors that are, that are team spirited and some of those are football spirited and it's a bit like the team that plays together stays together so that's what we're about we're trying to sort of say to you we're all of this together we've uh, we've had some tough times over the last 10 years some of us have been burnt out some of us have been frosted some of us have been gratified and whatever else you can have we've had the plague we've had everything so it's been tough but we're all here and we're still here and we want to continue to be here uh, and the only way that we're going to do that is because we're going to stick together. Uh, I, want, I would like to make a special mention of uh, Ross. Ross has done a fantastic job with this. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, a lot of us have got a great deal of respect for Ross and the, and the things that he does in this district but he obviously he's got some influence in Victoria as well which is worrying me. But, um, you know, we used to think that Ross was a bloke who went over there and broke the gold kicking record for Carlton and then got knocked out in the grand final. But <laughs> he, uh, he's done a lot more than that and I'm sure that we'll hear some of that from the uh, Carlton boys tonight. Um, it is about you and your families and uh, I'd just like to emphasise the fact that that's what it's for. It's about preserving your health and your family's health. By doing that, we'll all still be here next year to have another crack at it. So it's about that. If, if, you, you know, if you get one thing out of tonight that says go and have a checkup or whatever, then this has done its job. And uh, Ross and all of his helpers, and there are lots of them, will be extremely happy. The other thing that I just want to mention is that, you know, it is a summer, it is hot, and it's easy to drink the beer, and it's bloody hard to drive home after you've had it. So take it easy, don't uh, drink and drive, um, make sure you stay safe. So welcome, have a good night. Thank you, Gordon. And uh, the Carlton boys, the taxis will be here at 12 to get you back to the hotel. <laughs> Um, some very important people are behind this event. Uh, the sponsorship has just been outstanding. And uh, firstly, I'll start with the spirit of Carlton. Uh, fantastic effort by all these fellas to take the effort to come from Melbourne to here off their own bat to, um, to talk about men's health, to hold a bit of a sportsman's night and uh, it's just been a fantastic effort. So thanks, fellas, for uh, making the effort to come here.
There is one, one bloke that's missing, and that's Doc, Dr. Mike Aiken. Um, he was going to be here to check everyone's prostate tomorrow, but I think he uh, bought a new house and he's got to shift all his furniture on the, on the strength of that. He, I don't think he wanted to do it. But um, Mike has authorised all the PSA testing that uh, people, if they want to have it done, can have done tomorrow. Um, John Stoich from Benjamin Meats has supplied all the steaks for tonight's tea and John is a, he, he is the spirit of Carlton and he goes to all the functions in Perth and unfortunately he couldn't make it here tonight, he is devastated but he has supplied all the steaks for uh, the meal tonight, that's a fantastic event. We need to go back and put up $2,000 and that will go towards uh, sponsoring the Spirit of Carlton bus and a little bit of their airfares. So the Tin Badger and all the, all the local Bendigo branches around the place, thank you very much. I know there's a couple here, uh, Doug Sedgwick I know is involved with the Bendigo Bank. So to all those Bendigo bankers, uh, my mum banks with the Bendigo Bank. <laughs> Thank you to the Bendigo Bank. <laughs> uh, we built the Development Commission. Uh, we got the funds through yesterday to uh, support this event. Thank you very much. We got, um, also we got a special donation from uh, the Development, uh, the Regional Development Commission yesterday of uh, $7,500 and that is going to sponsor all the meals over the weekend. Um, to the Wheatbelt Men's Health, to Owen and Dwight who have given up their time to come down and talk to you tonight and also to do the pit stop tomorrow, fantastic effort. To the Cochrane Health Centre and all the staff there who will be <laughs> taking your blood tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for all the uh, help that you've given me in organising that. To the W Young Shire, who have done a fantastic job and just uh, done everything that was needed to make, make sure this event fell into place. And lastly, to Dean Hubbard, who's here from Elders. Dean's going to uh, auction off the Carlton memorabilia a little bit later on. But uh, to all the sponsors, just uh, big thanks. <laughs>